Greetings everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, and on today's six scale figure unboxing and review, we're gonna be taking a look at the Present Toys Robbers, also known as Eli Wallach from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. But before we take a look at a closer look at the figure, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all those people who have uh, viewed my, my reviews and my videos, who've liked them, who've subscribed to the channel. A big thank you for all the support. Um, there's a lot more content coming up, so hit that bell notification icon if you're new to the channel so you don't miss anything. Um, and a quick, and before we jump in as well, a quick a quick look at Present Toys themselves, because they're, they're quite a unique company. They're a third party, and they seem to specialise in, in grails and, of, and reworking of grail figures uh, that are now f fetching silly money on the pre-owned market. They're not in, in the same price bracket as, say, something like Hot Toys or Caustic Plastic. Um, they may be coming at 50%, two-thirds the price, but they seem to have found a niche, uh, as I say, for redoing Grail pieces and for maybe doing those figures that other companies wouldn't look at. Um, so, yeah, today's uh, review will be looking at the, uh, at the Present Toys Robbers. Um, I've got another review coming up. This is actually part of a, a, a double header. Um, we've also got The Cunning Killer, which is Lee Van Clee from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. Uh, Present Toys have released three in total uh, of these figures, uh, including the, uh, the Clint Eastwood himself, but I already have the Sideshow Collectibles version of that and got these two as sort of companion pieces, because really, who would the good be without the bad and the ugly? So without further ado, let's get him out of the box, let's get him down on the table and take a good look at everything he comes with and what the figure looks like. Okay, so accessories out. Let's take a look at everything he comes with. Uh, let's start with this base. Standard uh, Present Toys base. Uh, sticker across the top. Nothing to write home about. Uh, I personally won't be using this. I'll be using a custom diorama. Not awfully keen on, on this at the bottom. Probably be better without it, to be honest with you. But a nice image of uh, Eli Wallach there. Yeah, let's put that to one side. Oh, yeah. Standard issue Koch Grabber that comes with all the... Uh, present toys figures okay so what do we get let's start with this rifle uh, yes yeah, pretty good pretty good um, some wood graining effect on on the stock there um, paint job mm, yeah not brilliant not brilliant but it does the job um, yeah uh, and at this price point um, I'm not expecting something that's going to blow my mind uh, but yeah for for what it is pretty good yeah i'm not sure whether this no, there's no working mechanisms or anything on there but yeah that's the rifle okay let's take a look at the pistol next i'm glad to see it's got the uh the attaching string that he uses uh yeah all plastic again cocking effect there it's a bit loose revolving barrel uh yeah, they could have perhaps painted that snake on the uh, on the handle a little bit better, uh, but yeah, uh, it it serves the purpose. Not the best I've ever seen, but yeah, I've, it could be worse. It could be worse. So yeah, that's the pistol. Yeah, moving on to oh, we have a stick of dynamite. Oh, three sticks of dynamite tied together. Yeah, um, yeah, there's a fuse there that's made out of string. We've got uh, we've got some paintwork on the bindings here. I don't know whether you, the camera's picking that up. Yeah, I'm not sure whether the, the sticks themselves... They've just got a single code, I think, the sticks themselves. There's not real weathering on it other than on these little straps. But, yeah, serves a purpose as, the, uh, as does the guns. Yeah, nice addition. Uh, rope. Yes, we've got the rope here. Uh, the hangman's noose, from which he is saved on numerous occasions by Clint Eastwood, Blondie. Uh, so if you want to pose him hanging, you can do that. It's just a piece of cord, really, with uh, with a knot in it. But, yeah, nice addition. Put that to one side. Uh, this I do like, uh, and this most certainly will be going in the display. Uh, solid plastic. Um, not too much weathering on it, but I do love the effect, the gold effect there of the coins tumbling out when the, uh, the bag's dropped. Or, well, actually, I think it's hit with a shovel. I should know this. I've seen the film enough times, but, yeah. I will most certainly be using that in the display. I do like that. Might have to weather this a little bit. It uh, all looks a little bit too clean, but yeah, I'm liking that. Heavy as well, solid plastic. 
Yeah, very nice. Uh, we've also got, and this comes in a separate tiny little bag. Uh, this is the necklace. This is his necklace. And once again, it's just a string necklace, brown string necklace, but with a little pendant on. Uh, and having revisited the movie, uh, well, images of the movie, rather. Yeah, uh, that is actually screen accurate. So, nice touch. Nice addition present toys. Finally, the hands. Uh, now, the figure itself has two hands already on it. And you get these four hand, these four other hands as well. So that's looking like a pistol hand. We'll just have a look close and personal on one. Not the best paintwork in the world. It's got a few paint applications. Uh, there's some veining, uh, and you can see some of the bones and the veins under the skin there. I'll try and get that in. I'm trying to improve the lighting on on these videos so you can get a better view. Not much work on the cuticles. Uh, there are some skin effects, but yeah. At this price point, pretty good hands, and they are a very soft, flexible plastic, which is what I like to see. Uh, saves that infuriation that uh, sets in when you're working with really solid hands and trying to do a, a pose. So yeah, nicely done, and there's four of those, yeah. So, that's the accessories. Let's take a look at the figure itself. Okay, so down to the figure itself. We've got him uh, in a relatively neutral pose here on the, the base that he's provided with. Um, the tailoring, let's start with the tailoring. Uh, yep, nice material on these uh, on these trousers. Sort of a, feels like a cottony, a brushed cottony material. Uh, they look, uh, they're, they're fitted well. Um, the figure is in proportion. We've got a corduroy jacket here. Uh, if you eye lift back, you can see he's lined. Uh, there's also a functioning belt in there. We've got the braces, a, a white cotton shirt. Uh, the proportions are good. The jacket hangs well. Uh, there, are, there are a few issues with screen accuracy here. Um, having, having taken a look uh, back at the film, and I've seen it more times than I care to remember, there are some issues here uh, with screen accuracy. These trousers were darker uh, in the film. It wasn't a corduroy jacket. This was actually a cotton jacket with a stripe in it. Um, and this shirt, the collar is way too high on this shirt and too big. It was much smaller and much lower down. Um, also something else that uh, caught my eye as well uh, when I first took the figure out of the box was, uh, was these hands. If you actually go back, and, th and this is the case for all the hands. If you actually uh, go back to the film and, and, and take a closer look, Eli Wallach's uh, character is wearing a lot of rings on both hands and uh, it would have been a nice touch to see those uh, sculpted in there so the actual I mean we are this is present toys we are working to a budget it is a third party so we've got to accept that this is perhaps not going to be 100% spot on uh, so there are you know if, if you're prepared to compromise um, and uh, if you uh, like customizing figures maybe there's uh, there's some work that you can do here but yeah as it stands, it's it's good, but screen accurate, not really. Um, take a look at these feet. The feet aren't a split cut boot design. He does have black cowboy boots on. Uh, they're not weathered. Uh, I will be doing some work with this figure, I think. Uh, these most certainly need some weathering. Uh, I may be doing something with this jacket. Most certainly will be doing something with this collar. Uh, but on the whole, like I said, for, uh, for the price point uh, and for a third party attempt, uh, it's okay, it's pretty good. Um, let's just take a closer look at this head sculpt. Let's, uh, let's bring him in. Uh, I might have to go uh, uh, handheld at some point, or maybe not. Let's, uh, I was very dubious of this head sculpt when I first saw the, uh, uh, the, the initial uh, promo pictures of this figure. Um, Eli Wallach is not the easiest likeness to capture. He, uh, he has, most certainly has a unique face, but actually capturing that likeness, I think, is not the easiest thing in the world. It looks like they've gone for one look, one look, and there's only one head sculpt with this figure, and they've gone for the, the infamous sneer. And actually, in hand, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. Let's get right up close here. Yeah, uh, The range of mobility in this head is, is not brilliant. It's one fixed head on a neck. They have done, and I don't know whether you can see that, they have continued the uh, stubble, which is a personal bugbear of mine. If you've <laughs> watched any of my other videos, I do hate it when they don't continue the stubble properly. 
Uh, but yeah, this shirt will be opened up. Uh, and, oh, da, there you see. Now, I'm going to have a problem with that. Uh, because where the neckline is, opening this shirt up any further than that to make it more screen accurate, you're going to encounter some problems. Uh, the visible joint there into the uh, into the body uh, will cause some issues. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look into that. But the actual paintwork on the head, head sculpt itself is pretty good, and I do like that sculpt. Uh, I'm getting more and more. I'm I'm getting to like it more and more and more the uh, the, the more I see it. Uh, Let's see if I can't get him further around there. Oh, that doesn't sound healthy. There was a nasty crack in the back there as I was turning the head. Yeah, okay. I would say be careful when posing this figure. Um, but yeah, the paintwork, there's multiple layers of paintwork on, on the head sculpt. Um, the shading in there, they've got the eyebrows, they've got the glassiness in the eyes. The teeth are painted very, very well. Uh, there's some, a yellowing and a blackness in the in, the, in between the teeth, which is uh, which is very good. The uh, the hair is pretty good. Yeah, we've got multiple strands in there. Doesn't seem like there's been an awful lot of uh, extra paint applied to that hair, but the tone, but the uh, the shades right. Uh, so yeah. Overall, hmm, I'll, I'll wait to uh, to get him into the detail before I give uh, a final verdict and a final score on this one. Uh, it's not without its faults, um, and as I said, it, it, it's apparent it's been made to a budget, and it is a third-party figure. But uh, still, I'm liking it. I, I just—it's that head sculpt. It's that head sculpt. <laughs> it's growing on me. Yeah, it puts a smile on my face, and I think that's the whole point of uh, of collecting these figures. Yeah, uh, but yeah, not without its faults, and maybe a bit of work. So what I'm going to do next as always in these videos, is we're going to get uh, going to get some accessories on him, get him into the Detolf, get him into the Detolf lights, uh, and maybe see how he fits in uh, alongside the sideshow Clint Eastwood. So, over to the Detolf. Okay, so we've got him in a quick pose and into the Detolf. Uh, just before we do our sort of final scores and breakdown of this figure, I'd like to send a huge thank you out to William Wang for providing me with this figure. There'll be a, a link in the description below to his Facebook page. So if you are after this figure or any other figure for that matter, uh, send him a message, drop him a line, uh, and I'm sure he'll be able to sort you out. But yeah, huge thank you out, William, uh, for this one. So what do I think of the Ugly from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, also known as Robbers, also known as Eli Wallop. That's an awful lot of AKAs. But yeah, uh, under the detail flights, uh, that head sculpt really does pop. Um, I'm, as I said before, getting to like it more and more. I'm getting close on that head sculpt. Yeah, it, it's the head sculpt really is the is the standout standout of this figure. It really is. Um, the rest of the figure itself, the articulation, uh, pretty good. It's not the most expensive body you're going to come across. As I said before, we're working to a price point here, um, and the. The clothing itself is not 100% screen accurate. As I say, I'm gonna be doing some work on this figure. I've tried to finagle that collar down as far as it will go without actually exposing that neckline into the body. But yeah, uh, on the whole, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm liking it. I am, I'm liking it as a companion piece, as I said to the sideshow collectibles, Clint Eastwood, pretty good. Yeah, I think they'll work well together. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is uh, is put him in with the aforementioned figure and, and see how they work alongside each other. Okay, so here we have them both together in the Detolf. That's the present toys, uh, Eli Wallach, the sideshow Clint Eastwood, and the got them both freestanding. And I have to say it was the sideshow that lost that match, uh, did not want to freestand. Uh, which is probably understandable, considering the, uh, what he's carrying. Uh, but I don't know whether you're picking this up on camera, but the first thing that really struck me is the proportional difference. Yeah, if you, uh, I've got them slightly staggered here. Uh, Eastwood's slightly behind uh, Eli Wallach. And yeah, there's a proportion issue. You put these two next to each other. Yes, Eli Wallach was a lot shorter than Clint Eastwood, but you put these two next to each other and there is, there's a proportional difference. So I think if you are going to do it this way, um, be careful how you display them, yeah. But, 
overall, I think they work well together. They really do. So a score out of 10 for the, uh, the present toys robber. Um, yeah, I would probably say 6.5, maybe a seven on a good day. Um, what lets it down? And, and these are issues that come out of the, the price point that present toys work to. Um, there are no extra head sculpts. Um, the poncho version with the sombrero might have been nice. Uh, that clothing isn't 100% screen accurate. Uh, that collar is going to take some futzing. But these are all things uh, that, you, that you have to take into account when, when purchasing a present toys figure. Uh, that you are working to a lower price point and they're, they're working to that price point as well uh, but yeah on the whole I'm liking it I'm like I'm, as I say I keep I keep coming back to this head sculpt very very good indeed yeah so there you have it that's the present toys robber uh, if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any content that's coming up. And there will be a lot more content coming up. I think what we're doing next, uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, it's the Cunning Killer, it's the Lee Van Cleef. It's the, uh, the present toys version of Lee Van Cleef from The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. So I'm going to be doing a review of that and that's going to be up very, very quickly. Uh, and we'll try all three of these together on the shelf together, see how they look. Uh, also, as well, we're going to be doing a bit of a retro review of a couple of uh, Dragon in Dreams figures from uh, 1917, as requested by Blood Foo, one of the subscribers, who'd like to take a closer look at that. So we'll be uh, we'll, that'll be going up soon as well. I suppose all that remains for me to say is hit that bell notification icon, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below, and uh, yeah, take care of yourselves and happy collecting.